You know, I was gonna try to pull myself together today and actually put on a little bit of makeup and look presentable in a video, but honestly, it seems like I'm only getting more and more sick as the day goes on, so I'm sorry. <laughs> no makeup for me yet again in another video. But I feel like there's a topic that I've been sort of avoiding. I haven't really talked about it very much on my channel, maybe once, and I've talked about it once on Instagram as well. So I figured now would be a good time to properly address this uh, because it sucks and I've been really, really bummed out about it. So let's do it. As many of you guys know, just maybe a month, two months ago, I was super stoked because I was gonna be starting my lean bulk. It was gonna be my time to properly gain some weight back, gain my strength back, increase my squat, bench, dead, OHP. Like, it was a time for me to really build the physique, build the strength and, and the base that I've been so desperately uh, wanting because I had actually, I was getting it right before I started my cut, which if you were wondering why I started the cut, if everything was going so good during my lean bulk, I will leave a little description tag thing here for you guys where I talk about why I did the cut and why it was really for all the wrong reasons but actually when I got back from the Gymshark World Tour but when I got back from the Gymshark World Tour the last one was uh, Los Angeles Vegas and San Francisco I was already dealing with an injury in my neck and it was only increasing and at the time I didn't realize I was injured I just knew that my neck and my mid back was feeling super duper tense so I was already easing back on deadlifts and squats because it felt like every time after I finished the lift the tenseness was horrible I was getting tension headaches, which if you've never had a tension headache, I hope that you never do because it is super uncomfortable. Basically, if your traps and your neck are all stiff and really, really tense, it's gonna cause a tension headache, which for myself, I normally feel all through like the front of my face and then down in my nape area. The whole point of this is to say that I went without treatment for months because again, I thought it was just tension from traveling and that it would ease up as I trained more. Horrible thinking, not right to do, very, very dumb. I had Omar dig his thumb in to the area a couple times and I'm like this will fix the problem I got a man's thumb to make it all better I ended up getting treated by a good friend and amazing chiropractor named Chris Clatchen who lives in Toronto and as he was treating me he felt my neck and he's like whoa you are seriously like you are banged up here I don't even know how you've been functioning for the last couple of months because I can't even break through any of this right now and so <laughs> I was like yeah that's what I've been trying to tell everybody and no one believed me I was actually told that I have to avoid Oh, it makes me want to cry. I have to avoid uh, the barbell until this injury heals up and it really 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 sucks because the moment that I'm feeling determined and excited and ready to get full-fledged into my training I experienced my first injury which I feel could have been avoided had I you know taken the steps to actually get treated and instead of thinking that I was invincible and that it would kind of take care of itself as all of my other issues in the past have like my glute meat my hips all that stuff so I am slightly injured right now uh, he called it I don't remember what part of the neck, but it was something like back here. He had mentioned that it's technically considered a, a neck sprain, but like very minor. But his biggest thing is that I need to avoid doing squats, doing deadlifts, anything that involves putting my neck in a unnatural position. So the way that this whole injury even came about was because of the traveling, my neck was constantly jutted forward and I was rounding my back like crazy on a regular basis. So anytime I was sitting, I was like this. If I'd fall asleep on the plane, I fell asleep like this. It was, you know, I was doing everything wrong. I'm sorry, that was a long spiel, but I did want to share that with you guys. So that's what's going on right now, and it sucks. And although this is a really, really crappy situation, I'm actually making it as positive as I can and looking at it as a time to kind of take more of a bodybuilding approach to everything and really bring up some areas that have been weak for me, which let's be real, that's like everything, especially for me right now. Something I used to be really proud of was my glutes. I was starting to get some quad development. My shoulders were starting to pop out a little bit. I have been sticking to dumbbells and cable machines, so I'm sorry for this very long spiel, but I don't want you guys to think that I'm just like giving up on a lean bowl, because guys, I want this more than ever right now. Like, you don't understand, it's driving me absolutely insane to not be able to squat. I was squatting three times a week, now I'm squatting zero. Like, it, it hurts big time. I will keep you guys updated on all the progress and everything. If you guys have ever been through this, let me know some of the things that you did. I know I can't be the only one who has seriously jacked up their neck. That is everything, so that's my life in a nutshell. I'm gonna go wake up Prince so that I can cuddle with him a little bit before I go downstairs to train. All right guys, just got downstairs. 
gonna knock out a quick workout as you can see like whatever upper body I ever had like I've never really had any to begin with <laughs> like no gains whatsoever um, I'm gonna try and gain that back during this little this little period of improvement while my neck is all damaged so I'm gonna basically just follow very honest workout And I'm like, you know what, Mariana? This home is yours. Just hang out with friends, do whatever it is you need to do. So we're gonna get ready to actually film the Whisper Challenge. If you guys don't know, me and Mariana actually filmed a Chubby Bunny Challenge on her channel. So I'll leave that linked in the description box and I'll also have her channel linked below. I've talked about it on my channel before. You guys absolutely need to check her out and subscribe to her. But for now, we're gonna do the Whisper Challenge. And it's gonna be amazing. And it's gonna be great because I'm like, I can't hear anything in real life. So. <laughs> Basically, we've created five phrases for us to guess. We'll see how many of them we can knock out. We don't know what the whisper challenge is. We write out five different phrases, and the person will have music blasting in their ears, and they have to figure out what the phrases are. Mariana, <laughs> Mariana is going to start. So let's do this. That is so. Loud. I can't hear anything. Do you know the Muffin Man? Muffins. Yes. You are my muffin bag. <laughs> You are my muffin friend. No. Do you know I'm the muffin man? I want my muffin back. <laughs> Do you know the muffin man? Oh my I want my muffin back. Taco Bell gives me gas. Taco Bell gives Silomet. <laughs> Taco Bell. Psychopath. No. Taco. Taco. Psycho. <laughs> it's a food. Taco. <laughs> Styrofoam. Is that the whole thing? No. Say the whole sentence. Okay. I'm yelling, aren't I? <laughs> Taco Bell gives me gas. Oh! Oh! Something gives you gas. Yes, yes. Lactose? No, no. no. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Styrofoam? Taco Bell. Oh my god. <laughs> the second you said Styrofoam. gives me gas, I'm like, okay, yeah, I know Mariana has a lactose problem. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thanks. I, I mean, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Who? Who lives in a pineapple you? under the sea? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple Who under lives the in a pineapple? sea? Yes! SpongeBob does. SpongeBob SquarePants does. Oh my god, that was good. It's because I started saying it. I, it. I ride llamas and I have rabies. I ride llamas. Okay, okay. Wow, this is loud. I ride like. Right. What does this mean? I ride. Cry. Try. Try. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Llamas. Llamas? Yeah. I ride llamas. And, yeah. and and eat and eat. I <laughs> you gave it away. I ride llamas and eat bananas. Oh, and the music went oh, out. Bananas. <laughs> Nobody calls me Tubbs. You're going down, Tubby. Tubby. <laughs> Nobody calls me Tubbs. Nobody calls me Tubbs. Nobody calls me Tubbs. Nobody calls me Tubbs. Tubbs. Nobody calls me Tubbs. Nobody calls me Cubs. Nobody calls me Mubs. Nobody calls me Tubbs. I'm like so hot right now. I'm gonna turn on the AC. I hope that you guys enjoyed that whisper challenge. Thumbs up if you want to see more challenges featuring me and Mariana. I need to get ready to go to therapy because I am running five minutes late. It is what it is. All right, love you guys so much. I will see you when I get back. <laughs>